Good morning, my dear students. In one of the videos earlier, we have seen the proof of integral 0 ta f of x dx is equal to integral 0 ta f of a minus x dx. Here in this particular video presentation, we will just see the proof of, uh, I mean, sorry, application, application of this particular uh, result in some of the problems. See here, evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power 5x dx divided by sin power 5x plus cos power 5x. Let me think about the answer now. Let me think about the answer. Let i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power 5x dx divided by sin power 5x plus cos power 5x. This is just equation 1. Also, i is equal to, just see here, also i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power 5 pi by 2 minus x divided by sin power 5 pi by 2 minus x. This is only 5. Sorry, I will just rewrite. Okay, it is only 5. Looks like 15. Plus cos power 5 pi by 2 minus x. It's application of 0 ta f of x dx is equal to integral 0 ta f of a minus x dx. Instead of a, I have pi by 2 here. Now, you know very well, sin, sin pi by 2 minus x is cos x, you know very well. So, this will be automatically is equal to 0 to pi by 2. It will be cos power 5x. Sorry, I left out dx here, the previous step, into dx divided by, this will be cos power 5x plus sin power 5x. This is also phi. Okay, this is also i anyway. Name this as 2. Now add 1 and 2. What happens? 1 plus 2 will imply you 2i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. You have the common denominator, therefore numerators can be added. Sin power 5x plus cos power 5x, this much dx divided by sin power 5x plus cos power 5x. Sin power 5x plus cos power 5x. Therefore, I mean to say, see here, I mean to say automatically, I'll end up with 2i is equal to, let me continue here, 2i is equal to x 0 to pi by 2, x 0 to pi by 2. Therefore, 2i happens to be pi by 2 which will automatically give you i becomes pi by 4. Let me just explain once again. I take i equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin power 5x. This is phi anyway. This is phi. Sin power 5x dx by sin power 5x. I assume the given, given quantity what is to be found out as i equation 1. Also, i equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin power 5 
pi by 2 minus x dx by sin power phi pi by 2 minus x plus cos power phi pi by 2 minus x. Every sin pi by 2 minus x becomes cos x. Every cos pi by 2 minus x becomes sin x. Now for name this simplification as 2, add both 1 and 2. We end up with 2i is equal to 0 to pi by 2. I have the common denominator I can add. Here these two quantities will get cancelled automatically which will get reduced to 2i equal to 0 to pi by 2 dx integral 0 to pi by 2 dx which is reduced to anyway x dx. You can close the bracket here properly x 0 to pi by 2 that is pi by 2 minus 0 is reduced to pi by 2 i happens to be pi by 4 and this power can be anything in fact for any integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power nx dx by sin power nx plus cos power nx the answer will be pi by 4 unif applying this particular rule n can be any real number here n is 5 your uh, n can be 5 by 2 n can be 1000 n can be 3 by 2 something like that even for integral 0 to pi by 2, cos power nx dx by sin power nx plus cos power nx, I will get the same answer pi by 4 using the same rule. Similarly, integral 0 to pi by 2 dx by 1 plus tan power nx, tan power n can be written as sin power n by cos power n after taking LCM, it comes to the second format which I gave you just now. Similarly, integral 0 to pi by 2 dx by 1 plus tan power nx. There again, in all the four cases, I will get the answer to be pi by 4. Let me repeat. For integral 0 to pi by 2 sin power nx dx by sin power nx plus cos power nx. Or for integral 0 to pi by 2 cos power nx dx by sin power nx plus cos power nx or for integral 0 to pi by 2 dx by 1 plus tan power nx or for integral 0 to pi by 2 dx by 1 plus cot power nx cot power nx i will get the same answer pi by 2 using the rule which i gave you just now okay the, the rule 0 to pi by 2 the same rule is being carried over i will get the same answer everywhere okay I think it's clear to everybody. Thank you students for patient watching. Okay, I will we'll continue later.